Hey gang, I'm Luke and welcome... Wait. What's that noise? It's another ball turn week! <laughs> Hey gang, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic and another fantastic week of ball bearing games. All week I'm going to be looking at some of my ball bearing games out of my collection. Starting off with... Wooden Labyrinth. Let's get this thing down and have a look at it. Where to start with this particular toy? It seems to be one of those toys that's been around for a very long time. And that's because... well, it has. The first Wooden Labyrinth games were produced by Brio back in 1946. Yeah, this is an old concept, this one. I kind of love the idea that a ball bearing maze is as old as that. It shows a good idea can endure. Setup is really as easy as placing the marble at the start of the game, and you're ready to play. The game is incredibly simple to play. You have two control wheels, one which controls the left and right tilt of the board, and the other tilts the board forwards and backwards. The player simply has to navigate the ball bearing along the printed course to the safety of slot 60 on the path, following the path, but avoiding the holes. Because if you fall, and believe me, you'll be falling through those holes an awful lot, you end up going right back to the start. The game has a lovely built-in ball return, and will land the ball bearing back for another turn. And that's the beauty with this game, it's pure simplicity. It's never the game's fault that the ball went down a hole. Failure is squarely on your own shoulders, and it requires a steady hand to guide the ball bearing along its path. This is one of those games where you always feel like one more go and you'll get it, you'll do better this time. Of course, you can play this competitively too. See how far on the track you can get compared to your family and friends. Which hole you fell down. It's a simple game and one that's endured and has had influence on games like it since. Remember the maze section on Screwball Scramble? Yep, can't deny it as a wink and a nod to Wooden Labyrinth there. Rock and Roll Maze? Yep, definitely tilting the board back and forth there. This is a reproduction of the original Brio game, but these games are widely available too. And some like this one come with multiple inserts for the tracks, different paths and maps to navigate around. And not too long ago, LEGO got in on the action with a buildable version of this. Yeah, a LEGO Labyrinth game. And people have really exercised their creativity with the maps and theming of their challenges. Some really superb designs. This is definitely one to check out and have a go with. I mean, they're so prevalent, you can find them more or less anywhere. And there's so much fun, you'll have more than one go at it, I guarantee that. Well, stay tuned all this week, I'm going to be looking at more of my ball bearing games. As always, I'm Luke, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. If you like what I'm doing here on Down From The Attic, please consider subscribing. Comments are always welcome and I'll see you in the next video.